of my promiscuity have been greatly exaggerated. I used to be anonymous, invisible to the opposite sex. If Google Earth were a guy, he couldn't find me if I was dressed up as a 10-story building. Pretty cutting-edge stuff, huh? A high school girl feeling anonymous. Who am I? What does it all mean? Why am I here? Blah. But don't worry. This isn't one of those tales. Though it sure started out that way. And then it changed pretty quickly when I started lying about some very personal things. So, let the record show that I, Olive Pendergast, being of sound mind and hello, average breast size, swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Starting now. Oh. And what better way to share my private thoughts than to broadcast them on the internet? So here it is, part one. The shudder-inducing and cliched, however, totally false account of how I lost my virginity to a guy at a community college. Let me just begin by saying that there are two sides to every story, and this is my side, the right one. George is not a sexy uh -huh. name. George is like what you name your teddy bear, not the name you want to scream out during climax. And by that, I assume you mean? This stable and self-perpetuating end stage is the evolution of a plant community. Right. Why, what were you thinking? Same, but I don't say it out loud lest someone get the wrong idea. I think you know innuendo is attached to everything these days. Innuendo? What, whatever do you mean? Rhiannon, Olive, go hit the books. They don't hit back. Also, hugs not drugs. Mess with the bull, get the horns, and any other cliches you can come up with. Bye, Mr. Griffin. <laughs> Hi. Watch your mouth. Mr. Griffith is my favorite teacher. Although, after all the trouble I caused, I don't know if I'm still his favorite student. You know, these are bad for you. These are unwanted pregnancy, all sorts of things. Huh? Mismatched tires on your vehicle, which is non-existent. And here is where the trouble began. The lie that started the whole thing. Please, please, I'm begging you. I... I will pay you. I'll pay you. Bree, I cannot go camping with you, okay? I'm sorry, but I have a date. Okay, I told you. Oh, with him. You don't know him? And neither do you, you selfish bitch. Yes, I do. He oh. goes to college with my brother. Okay, what's his name then? Rhiannon is what you'd call a strong personality. A couple weeks ago, she asked me to come camping with her family, and I don't know why I didn't want to go. A little because I didn't really feel like hanging out with her all weekend, but mostly because her parents are the weirdest people I have ever met. And I live in California. I ate dinner at her house once, and I swore never again. This is interesting. Patchouli burger. We grew it in our victory garden. You want some dessert? No, thank you. I'm trying to watch my figure. Well, I'm not. <laughs> so I lied and told her I couldn't go because I had a date with a friend of my brother's named George. Let's just face it. There is no such thing as a sexy George, all right? Yeah, well, mine is, so... I think we should just put this conversation to bed. Fine. Don't come camping with us. Just know I hate you, bitch. Go get your chocolate milk. Do you want one? No. And here's how I really spent the weekend. Ugh. Worst song ever. Whoa, do what you 
what you want, but you're never gonna break me. Ten stones are never gonna shake me, yo. Oh, wow. I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a pocky, got a pocky. I got a, I got a pocky, 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 got a
Uh, we've had nine classes together since kindergarten. Ten, if you count religion of other cultures, which you didn't because you called it science fiction and refused to go. Yeah. Listen, I'm not the one that you have to answer to for your depraved behavior. There's a higher power that will judge you for your indecency. Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. I hope for your sake that God has a sense of humor. Oh, I have 17 years worth of anecdotal proof he does. <laughs> you've made your bed. I just hope for your sake that you've cleaned the sheets. Did I just get saved? Okay. So Mary Ann spread the rumor. For the first time ever, my sexual exploits were the talk of the school. Oh, you know what? I'm wrong. It was the second time. The first time was back in eighth grade when all I wanted was a kiss from this guy I'd always had a crush on. Todd and I were thrown together in seven minutes of heaven. Luckily, we had a super romantic song from our youth to set the mood. I think this is the part where you're supposed to stick your tongue in my mouth. That's what I've heard, anyway. Just give me a second, okay? According to my watch, you have 382 of them. How do you do that? What? Add so fast. And you also talk like a grown-up. Don't worry. I'm not nearly as smart as I think I am. So, if we didn't do anything, could you still tell people we kissed? <sighs> Absolutely. Thanks, Olive. Sure, Todd. I actually didn't want to lie that time. Although, when people thought I kissed someone, they didn't really care. But when they thought that I slept with someone... Hey, Olive. How's it going? I'm swell. Guy I've never talked to before. Thanks for asking. All I could think to myself was, great, now I'm a tramp. I'm gonna have to get a lower back tattoo and pierce something not on my face. You guys know that I was here all weekend, right? Yeah. Yes, you were upstairs. Yeah. You would testify to that? Yeah. I would take a bullet for you. You know that. Right between the eyes. I, mean, I would slit my throat rather than say something to someone that you didn't want me to say. That's not necessary, Dad, but that is comforting. That's how I am. That's how I roll. That's how I do, <laughs> I like the pants. Thank you. They're Costco. You can have them when you get a little taller if you want. I'm never going to go through puberty. Of course you will, baby. But we're a family of late bloomers. I didn't until I was 14, nor did Olive. Why does that matter? I'm adopted. What? Oh, my God! Who told you? Guys, we were going to do this at the right time. Listen to me. Sometimes, even when a man and a woman love each other very much, like your mother and I used to, their insides just don't cooperate with each other. <laughs> What's going on, honey? Why do you want us to take a bullet if anyone asks if you were here all weekend? Mm, it's nothing. It's just the rumor mill. Mm. What's the rumor mill churning out these days? Anything interesting? You know, not really. Not really. It's a little low on grass. Oh, clever wordplay. I like it very much. You must be related to me. Only by marriage. Give it to me. So, what we're all going to take away from this? I was here all weekend, yes. right? Yes. Remember how I told you Google Earth couldn't find me if I was dressed up as a 10-story building? Well, the next day, it could find me if I was dressed as a crack on a sidewalk. That's the beauty of being a girl in high school. People hear you had sex once, and bam, you're a bimbo. I really didn't mean for the lie to put me on the map, but I gotta admit, I kind of liked being on the map. So, clearly Nathaniel Hawthorne is a complex writer. Even I had trouble with him. I read him originally when I was five, but I struggled. So I'm gonna break it down for you. I'm gonna throw some rhymes. Anson, drop me a beat. What? Give me a beat. Push it up. Yeah. Adultery. Vengeance. Crimes of passion. Kill the beat. I'm not gonna rap for you guys, okay? It's pandering and it's been done before in every bad movie you've ever seen. Okay. Ironically, we were studying the Scarlet Letter. Now, isn't that always the way? The books you read in class always seem to have some strong connection with whatever angsty adolescent drama is going on. Except for Huckleberry Finn. Because I don't know any teenage boys who have ever run away with a big hulking black guy. For those of you who haven't read The Scarlet Letter, or for those of you who said you did but really didn't, here's all you need to know. This girl named Hester Prynne has an affair with a minister, is besmirched, and made to wear a red A for adulterer. But then the town realizes she was too harshly judged, and she's really a good person, and she dies a saint. A whole bunch of other stuff happens, too. If you have a test on it, rent the movie, but make sure it's the original. Not the Demi Moore version, where she talks in a fake British accent and takes a lot of baths. 
say that one was freely adapted is a uh, bit of an understatement, Governor. What we have to realize is that Hester lived an entirely different time, a time when the worst crime a woman could commit was, in fact, adultery. Nina. I think Hester Prynne was, <laughs> excuse my language, a skank. A skank? Mm -hmm. So you don't think she was a victim at all? Why should I? She brought it on herself. Perhaps you should embroider a red A on your wardrobe, you abominable tramp. Perhaps you should get a wardrobe, you abominable twat. <laughs> Not my best line, but it was provocative enough to land me in the principal's office. Seems as if someone's on a downward spiral. Seems as if someone's practicing the mundane activity she'll be saddled with the rest of her pathetic life. I just hope for your sake you at least had the good sense to use protection. Why? Your parents didn't. You're going to hell. Just as long as you won't be there. I can assure you, I won't. Good. I don't care who started it, just work it out. So, why am I just meeting you? Language like this sort of warranted a visit years ago. This is the first time I've done anything remotely misbehavioral. This is foul. I know. I'm so. I'm really, really sorry. Sorry you said it, or sorry you got caught. Sorry I said it, honestly, and sorry I, you know, got caught a little bit too. But mostly just sorry I said it. If you use a word like this again in my school, it'll be your last. You understand? Yes. Sir. I mean, this isn't one of those progressive schools where the teachers are called by their first names and students are partners in learning. And there's a fundraising auction at the end of the year where the more creative parents put on musical skits about the community garden. This is public school. If I can keep the girls off the pole and the boys off the pipe, I get a bonus. Now, if you're sent to me one more time, you're going to be out in your fan tail. Now, am I making myself clear? Yes, sir. Good. I think so. I got a little lost in the middle, but I found, I found my way back. Detention after school tomorrow. Now, out. Even though it was my slutty alter ego that said a bad word in school, it was my ass that got in trouble, which was a place my ass had never been before. Hey, Olive. Oh my god, the illusion is shattered. <laughs> this is exactly why they put you in the gas chamber if you take your head off at Disney World. Actually, I think they just, uh, they fired you. You're thinking of Disneyland. Disney World is much more liberal. Oh yeah, I always forget Disney World went blue in the last election. Are you going to Melody Bostick's party? Oh, I hadn't planned on it. Mm, me neither. My cousin's getting married. It's a rehearsal dinner. See ya. Stay excellent. You too. What's up, kid? Good job. Please tell me the rumors are true. Yes, yes, I am a big fat slut. No, no, not that one. The one where you got suspended for calling Nina Howe a dick and you punched her in the left tit. I worry about the way information circulates at this school. Bree, I need to tell you something. Like the exact moment you turned into such a badass? I think I'm in love with you. Okay. Please tell me you at least left a mark on that little scrunched up face of hers. <laughs> it's not true. It wasn't the left tit? It was the right one. I was thank you for a southpaw. Can you listen to me for one second, please? Pow! 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 Okay. Pow. It didn't happen. Oh, yeah, right. Your secret's safe with me, you little sex monkey. I got sent to the principal today. <gasps> Did you win a medal or something? Not exactly. I used inappropriate language in English class. Ooh. Although. We're reading a book that I personally deem wildly inappropriate for our age group, so I actually felt it was quite apropos. What did you say? Let's just say it was an inappropriate word. Well, what did it start with? A snide comment from a snotty girl in my class. No, I mean, what letter did the word start with? Ah, uh, T. Oh, T. Oh, T. 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 Let's sing it. T. 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 T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T
Guys, noun, adjective, or verb? Noun. It's definitely slang. Think British. Tallywhacker? Termigant. Yob. Frast. Nunt. You're just saying sounds. Those are sounds. Spell it with your P's. Oh, yeah, spell it with your P's. Do it. I will take that challenge. I like, like that. All right. So does this have anything to do with the rumor that you mentioned the other night? Do you need to talk to us about something, sweetie? What's that? Twit. That's an A, honey. And it's a word that'll get you sent to the principal's office. It's a bad word. Sit down. I guess we're lucky that this is not a common occurrence. What would my punishment have been otherwise? Bed without supper, I guess. But I'm already finished. No dating. Yeah, no, no dating. dating. <laughs> no dating for you, young lady. Oh, I think my complete lack of allure already kind of shot that horse in the face. I wouldn't know how to be grounded any more than you know how to ground. That's right. Love you. Come here. And I bet that girl was acting like exactly what you called her. Oh, you have no idea. Mm. I got a B plus on my spelling test today. That's good, honey, but everything has spell check these days. So. Mm. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Where are you from originally? So, the next day I had detention, which thanks to recent budget cuts meant cleaning. I was looking forward to getting all this behind me. I had done the crime, I was going to do the time. And that would be that with that. Are there like child labor laws against this? Not in high school. The principal's like the captain of the ship in international waters. He can't even marry people. Hmm. We haven't talked in a while. How have you been, Brendan? Fabulous. I'm crushing it. Everything according to plan. I want to be in detention! Yeah, why are you here? Judging from the amount of blood I saw gushing out of your nose, I thought you were the bullied. Well, you'd think, but Principal Gibbons is a homophobe, which is why I called him a fascist. So the rumors are true. I don't know what you're talking about. I meant about Gibbons being a fascist. So close your eyes. So what's with your new look? Very whore couture. Oh, haven't you heard? I'm the musical slut. You know, I did hear something. I also heard he was twice your age. Oh, no, 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 no. He was a freshman in college. I also heard he gave you craps. Ew. People suck. Tell me about it. <clears throat> He's not real. What? The guy I slept with. I made him up. Wait, you started the rumor? Indirectly? I guess sort of. Actually, no. No, not really. No, I didn't. <laughs> well, but you're perpetuating it. That's really messed up. Excuse me? Well, you're not even a real slut. You just want people to think you are. It's pathetic. Uh, no offense, but uh, you could probably learn something from me, Brando. Uh, are you saying that, that I should act straight so people will like me? That's groundbreaking. You just <laughs> teach a course at the learning annex. It could be called the painfully obvious with Olive Pendergast, the fake school slut. I was just suggesting that maybe these kids we call peers are onto something. You know, like, like Mary Ann Bryant. Maybe that whole stuck up Jesus freak thing is an act. You know? No, I think she's just a stuck up Jesus freak. Mm. And there are some of us who are just trying to blend in to the crowd. Well, and then you've got to do everything you can to blend in or decide not to care. I can't decide if you're a genius or a lunatic. Yeah. Don't they sort of go hand in hand? So you heard any word from George? Nope. I told you that was a a one night stand, which is now over. You know, you're being pretty cavalier about this. Aren't you supposed to be like eternally in love with him and shit? Yes, yes, I believe so. If I was a gossip girl in Sweet Valley with traveling pants, but uh, no, I'm not. So I could really care less. Okay, so Brandy Carter was telling Vanessa Hodges that you were with three guys in a jacuzzi. Sounds like a lot of work. I guess that's still better than getting it on with some old dude. Ew, who said that? Uh, do you know that Brandon kid? That's what uh, somebody told him. Isn't he a homo? Yeah. Speak of the devil, hello. I was just talking about you with my friend Rhiannon. You know Rhiannon, she's uh... Perpetually angry. Mm. She curses like a Somali sailor. Mm -hmm. Bit. Mm. Yep. Uh, so on. Bit. What's bit? Okay. Wait, what's bit? Okay. What's bit? Hello. What's bit? What's bit? Right. Bit. What is bit? Uh, bedazzling personality. 
beautiful, beautiful soul. Big tits. That's my identifier? Yes! <sighs> All right. Well, that was Brandon. He wants to talk to me about something. Yeah, probably wants to borrow an outfit. Mm, whatever, big tits. Thank you. Mm. Woohoo! Big tits! The next day, things took a turn for the scandalous. Which brings us to part three. A lady's choice and a gentleman's agreement. Hi, is there an olive here? There's a whole jar of them in the fridge. Sorry, I must have the wrong address. Just kidding, come on in. Any friend of Olive's is a friend of our daughter's. Olive, sweetie, there's a young man here to see you. He said something about asking for your hand in marriage. Oh, happy day, Mama. Oh, I thought I was going to have to spend my dowry on booze and pills to numb the loneliness. A gentleman caller, hooray! What's that? Olive has a boy in her room. <gasps> a boy? A boy. Wow, a boy. A boy. A boy? A boy. Wow. Welcome. This is where the magic happens. And as you well know, by magic, I mean nothing. Do you want to go out with me? What? Well, I mean, like, do you want to be my girlfriend? Uh, Brandon, just a couple hours ago, you told me you were Kinsey Six Gay. True, but you said I should pretend to be straight, so... Yeah, I didn't mean with me. I mean, you're a nice guy and all, but uh, you're not really, uh... My type. Yeah, you're not really my type either. Yeah, I know that. I got that V where you'd rather see a P. Do you want to have sex with me or not? Oh my God, dude. Wow. You completely missed the point of that. That is not what I was saying at all. No, I know what you were saying is that I should just act straight until I get out of this hell hole and then I can be whoever I want to be. I, I get that. And you know that I didn't really have sex with the college guy, right? I just told everybody I did. Or actually, I told one person I did. And you know how these things work. It's like wildfire. So you're saying I shouldn't really have sex. I should just say I had sex with someone, a girl. Yes, yes. Uh. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Just. No, no, no. Just no way. Wait, no wait, way. Wait, no, stop it, no, stop it. No, 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 absolutely not. Think no. about it. Think about it. We could help each other out. No. You, you, you want to maintain this floozy facade. I don't want to get pushed into shit every day. It's a win, win, win. How do you know I like being thought of as a floozy? Because at least you're being thought of. Just one good imaginary bonk. You are on crack, all right? And not the good kind. Look, it doesn't have to be a bonk. It could be anything. It could be an imaginary butter bean, lemon squeeze, cowbell. I don't it... know what any of that means. Well, that's because you're a virgin. Okay. You know what? This is not the answer at all. I'll pay you. I'll pay you whatever you want. I don't want your money, Brandon. Why don't you just do what I did and make someone up? Who's going to believe me? Hmm? But you don't understand how hard it is, all right? I'm tormented. Every day at, at school is like I'm being suffocated. And sure, we can sit and fantasize all we want about how things are going to be different one day. But this is today, and it sucks. All right, and there's only one way around it, and you were smart enough to think of it, so please just help me. Because I can't take another day of this. I don't know what I'll do. I don't do anything half-assed, all right? It'll have to be a public event. Melody Bostic is throwing a party yeah. tomorrow night. All of your tormentors will be there. You and I are going thank together, you. all right? Uh, and you have to do everything I say and tell everyone that I am sensational. Thank you, thank you so much for doing this. Just, you know, make sure you're ready to live with the consequences. Oh. What the hell is a lemon squeeze? It's like a backwards melon bag. I don't I know any of the next night was the party at Melody Bostick's house. She is the most popular girl in school. It's partly because she's pretty and has perfect hair, but mostly because her parents let her have these huge parties every time she catches them doing it in the pool, which is every week, apparently. Brandon and I showed up when it was in full swing. I borrowed a dress for my mom, Brandon borrowed a jacket for me, and we put on a little show. Hey, Olive and Brandon. What's up? 
if you don't mind, but we had a few pre-cocktail party cocktails. Like, before the cocktail party. <laughs> with cocktails. Mm. Listen. Here's the sitch. Melody boss. But yeah. Brandon was just in the middle of telling me this really funny thing, which is really funny. And I was wondering if um, there's like a room where we could go, where he could finish telling me that thing that's funny. If you know what I mean? You can use my room. Down the hall to the left. Is that all of the Brandon? No. What the hell, right? What are you doing? Relax. Jesus, what is with you gays? Are you are you really that repulsed by lady parts? What do you think I have down there? A gnome? So nice. What is that lavender? It's pretty. What are you doing? Can you can you come here, please? Check it out. Come on. Grunt, grunt, and make it convincing. Ah. It's a grunt, not whine. Just grunt. Ah. Ah. Moan, you know, like, like, like sex noise. Ah. Ah. God, you are pathetic. Ah. Quick rehearsal. I only had one line. Oof, that was a joke. Uh, I know. Uh, ha ha. Sorry. How's it going? Uh, you know, I'm uh, I'm here. Can I get you a beer? That rhymed. I liked it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
I'm gonna go. You sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bye. Uh, see you at the salt mines. Maybe this is gonna sound stupid, and believe me, it's not like I was expecting, you know, fireworks or a string quartet or anything, but I always thought pretending to lose my virginity would be a little more, um, I don't know, special. Judy Bloom should have prepared me for that. One lesson. That boy from yesterday just dropped this off for you. Well, put it in the pile of gifts for my other suitors. He seems like a nice kid. He seems a little incredibly gay. A died in the wool homosexual, that boy is. I just want you to know your father and I are totally supportive. We love you no matter what the sexual orientation of your opposite sex sex partner. We're not dating, Mom. And don't worry about not making us grandparents. Although we were kind of hoping you'd get knocked up so we'd have a second shot at raising kids. Really, do it right this time. Bye now. You know, I dated a homosexual once. For a long time, actually. A long time. Dear God, dear Lord, tell me you did not marry and have children with him. No. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Your father is as straight as they come. A little too straight, if you know what I mean, girlfriend. I don't. Can you shut the door, please? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, oh, door's oh, right oh, over oh, there. Oh. Keep going. Take it down. Go sure. take that out to Dad. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh. in case you don't shop at Target, then you can go screw yourself. Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Re. Is it true you got with Brandon at Melody Dipshit's party? Uh, is that what people are saying happened? That's what everyone is saying happened. Well, then I guess that, uh, I guess that's true. Just because you lost your virginity doesn't mean you can go around throwing your cat at everybody. I'm not throwing my cat at everybody. I had to hear from Jackie Rudetsky. Do you know how embarrassing that is? Finding out you slept with some gay dude from Jackie Rudetsky? That must have been pretty embarrassing. And why didn't you tell me you were going to the party? I would have come with and out your hair or something. Re are you really making this about you right now? You know, you're starting to get a reputation. And you're coming off as a little pious. You're kind of pissing me off a little more than usual. I'm sorry if I think it's a best friend's duty to let her know that everyone, and I do mean everyone, is calling her a dirty skank. Well, do you think I'm a dirty skank? You know, I, I didn't want to believe it, but I guess it's true. That is your identifier. <laughs> and you're a jealous virgin. So, <gasps> people thought I was a dirty skank. Fine, I'd be the dirtiest skank they'd ever seen. I don't give a damn about my reputation. Living in the past is a new generation. <laughs> Sounds like you're having sex in here, which I know can't be true due to the fact that you have a homosexual boyfriend. He is not my boyfriend. Hey, no judgment. All God's children, it's fine. I was gay once for a while. No big deal. We all do it. It's okay. Dad, can you just shut the door, please? You all right, buddy? Yeah. <sighs> Give him hell. <laughs>
is an anagram for I love. What's a, what's an anagram? Look it up, big boy. What's your problem? You really want to know what my problem is? No. That was a rhetorical question. I don't want to know anything from you. We are not friends anymore. Oh. We are officially over. Oh, rat. Hey, I want my juicy sweatshirt back. You went to lose it on your chest anyway. Ooh, burn. Don't forget tomorrow's Earth Day. Guys, we have a problem. Olive Pendergast. We need to pray for her. Amen. But we also need to get her the hell out of here. Amen. I'm sure you guys heard what happened at Melody Bostick's party. I was there. I heard the whole thing. That's not something you need to advertise, Kurt. Sorry. But I was. I tried to witness to her, but this girl is defiant to any type of help. Does anybody here think they can talk to her in a way that might get her to see what she's doing is wrong? <sighs> it's okay. I'm sorry, you guys. This is so stupid. No, it's not, Marianne. It's real. It's real. Jesus tells us to love everyone. I mean, even the whores and the homosexuals, but it's just so hard. It's so hard because they keep doing it over and over again. Make me a promise. Make God a promise, right here and right now, that we will remain pure and chaste until marriage. We promise. Awesome, 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 awesome. I love you guys. God loves you guys. Now let's change lives today. Micah. Let's do it. When Israel was in Egypt's land, let my people go. I pressed so hard they could not stand. Let my people go. Go down, Moses, go down to Egypt's land. Tell old Pharaoh to let my people go. To let my people go. To let my people, to let my people, to let my people go. I didn't know what they were so upset about. I put an A on my wardrobe just like they asked. Maybe it was because I was wearing clothes that were two sizes too small. Hey, Alvin. You, uh, you went for grass slipper at the party the other night. Yeah, and I got pumpkin all over my dress, too. Say lovey. Lovey. Nice. Mm. Solid joke. <laughs> wow. Sucks, because we could have revisited Melody's bedroom. Oh, my God. That was Melody Bostick's house. Hell. I can't believe you remember that. Well, yeah, come on. Who doesn't remember their first almost kiss? Hey, Olive. Evan. Hey, what's rocking? Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, what's up? Don't get mad, but uh, Brandon told me what you did for him. Oh, well, rest assured it was equally as thrilling for me. Uh, no, he told me the truth. I was just hoping that maybe you could do the same for me. Goodbye, Evan. Wait, wait, I, I can pay you. I am about six seconds away from slapping you so hard your teeth will bleed. Can you do it in front of everyone? I don't need your permission, you know. What? I mean, at, at the, the rate you're going, I, I just don't see how people will not believe it. Are you threatening me? I'll give you a hundred bucks. You are repugnant. Uh, duh. That's the problem. Never mind. Uh, sorry, I asked. I knew it wouldn't work. Just a fat piece of shit. When will high school end already? Oh, shit. I want a $100 gift card deposited into my locker by noon tomorrow. Preferably to the Gap, but I will also take Amazon.com or Office Max. Actually, make it Office Max. I have my eye on a label maker. We did not have it. Okay? I let you fondle my chest, and it was a glorious moment for you, unmasked by anything you appeared to for experience, including cake. Got it? Wait a minute. A hundred bucks for second base? Yeah, yeah. Doesn't that seem a little steep? Can we throw in, like, a, some butt action or some pants rubbing? 
What are you, nine? Whatever. Are you in? Whatever. Deal then. Thanks, Olive. You know, the sad thing is, Evan, if you've been a gentleman and maybe asked me on a date, I might have said yes. Really? Do you want to go out with me? Not now, I don't, shit, Dick. Gotta get that before it gets good. It should come as no surprise that the rumor I was soliciting sex for money spread around the school faster than, well, faster than the first rumor about me spread. But for people who knew the truth, I was open for business. And whether I liked it or not, I had a lot of customers. Phil Lord gave me a hundred bucks from Best Buy so he could tell people we hooked up behind the library. I got fifty dollars from TJ Maxx so that Eric Link could say we got it on during chemistry. Ninety dollars from Panda Express so Brian Dukes could tell people I showed him mine, but he did not show me his. Chris Miller, big spender that he is, gave me $40 worth of movie passes for my pretend cowbell. They had an expiration date and were only good at the stupid foreign movie theater. Hi, one for uh, their Sherlock Rote Gustav. But even that is better than Sanjay Chandra Sekhar. Seriously? A coupon? 20% off to Bath and Body Works. Is that how much our imaginary trip meant to you? A fake rock to your world. It's all they can afford. How's that my problem, amigo? I knew he wasn't Latino, but for some reason all these shady backdoor deals have me talking like Carlito. Beat it, is it? Okay. Whatever happened to chivalry? Does it only exist in 80s movies? I want John Cusack holding a boombox outside my window. I want to ride off on a lawnmower with Patrick Dempsey. I want Jake with 16 candles waiting outside the church for me. I want Judd Nelson thrusting his fist into the air because he knows he got me just once. I want my life to be like an 80s movie. Preferably one with a really awesome musical number for no apparent reason. But no. No, John Hughes did not direct my life. So instead of all that, I get to save 15 cents on a bottle of Juniper Breeze antibacterial gel. So if you're still with me, and I'm hoping most of you are. This brings us to part four. How I, Olive Pendergast, went from assumed trollop to an actual home wrecker. You wanted to see me? I did. Why don't you come in here? What's going on? I'm accessorizing. Really? Uh-huh. I think you're taking your reading assignment a little bit too seriously. Well, I was really hoping to get an A. Get it? Hee ha ha. <laughs> I'm hearing some rumors. Well, those are true. I am considering becoming an existentialist. You know what I'm talking about. Jeez. When did uh, teachers become privy to idle adolescent gossip? That would be when everyone is putting everything up on Facebook. I don't know what your generation's fascination is with documenting your every thought, but I can assure you they're not all diamonds. Roman is having an okay day and bought a Coke Zero at the gas station. Raised the roof. Who gives a rat's ass? He got a Coke Zero again? Ah, that Roman. Incorrigible. Listen, whatever this little act is about, I just, I'm curious. I really think you should consider giving me extra credit for going the extra mile. I mean, I'm really attempting to understand this puritanical ostracism the Hawthorne wrote about. You are one of the few that read the book. If I read one more paper from one of your classmates who talks about how hot she is in the bathtub, her fake British accent, or is she still married to Ashton Kutcher, I'm going to kill myself. Why don't people just watch the original movie like I did? I know you read the book. I did. <laughs> 
Listen, I want to apologize for sending you to the principal's office. Truthfully, and I'll deny it if you say anything, I wanted to be cheering with the rest of the students. I don't know what it is about Nina. I hate her. <laughs> I won't tell. I'll deny it if you do. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Stay golden. Hi, Mrs. Griffith. Hi, you. How are you? A's for awesome. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, I've never seen that girl before in my life. That does not surprise me. I know, but I'm the guidance counselor. I should know all the students, especially the ones who dress like prostitutes. Mm. It's good to hey, see you. How are you? Mm. Oh, ah, mm. no. Stop. We're at school. There are rules. Mm. Windows. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. but do me a favor, then. Just talk to her. I think she's going through a phase. And oh, wait. Is that, that's not the girl everyone's talking about, is it? It is. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, this will be good. All right. You know, that snotty Jesus freak office aide I have has been bitching about her incessantly. They're all lies, but um, she could use somebody to talk to anyway. All right. Hey, what are you doing for dinner tonight? You won't be there. Sorry. I have an after-school session. Kid brought a knife to school. Well, be careful. Yeah. All right. Well, it was, it was a butter knife. But you know what they say, you know, it's a gateway knife. <laughs> so, bye. Bye. I'm oh. thinking about another okay. gateway. Uh huh. So. Mm. Hey, uh, uh. Making spaghetti. That's great. With meat. Enjoy eating your meat. And balls. Enjoy eating your balls. Getting them nice and sharp. Hmm? Sharpening them up. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, so sharp. Oh, sharpening the pencils. Sharp, 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 sharp. Ooh, God, that's sharp. Hey, all of you ready to come in? All right, well, the reason I called you in was just so we could sort of, you know, just chat about what's going on. You know, there's concern from a few faculty members. Your husband. Olive, you're attempting to make a statement. I'm just a little confused as to what exactly that is. Am I in trouble? Because um, pursuant to the student code of conduct, my hemline has never been higher than my fingertips. No, you're not in trouble. No, I just wanted to make sure that you knew that if there's something that you want to talk about, you know, you can trust me. If I uh, open up to you, do you promise this stays in confidence? Yeah, I'm, see, I'm the guidance counselor. That's what I do. I mean, I have a reputation to uphold. Don't you, though? All right, listen, don't tell anyone I'm doing this. Please. Here we go. Here we go. I really don't need those. Oh, you really do. Here you go. Here you go. Okay, I just don't want this thing you're going through to define your life. Olive, do what you got to do, okay? Let your freak flag fly. Just make sure you have an exit strategy. Listen, uh, Mrs. Griffith, I really... I don't need no, You know what? The pill is not 100% effective. Ask some of your friend's parents. Thank you for coming in. Can you just send in the next person? Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> You're up, Hoss. Everything's going to be okay. I think it's a little strange that your boyfriend is 22 years old and still in high school. Not that it's any of your business, Trollop, but he is here by choice. It's his choice that he's a fourth year senior that can't pass any test he takes at all? His choice. His, his, capital H. If God wanted him to graduate, God would have given him the right answers. <laughs> I'm sorry, you gotta be shitting me, woman. Okay, so why was he blubbering like a baby? Is he struggling with his sexuality? No, you insensitive rhymes with which his parents are going through a divorce. <laughs> okay, um. You know, uh, sometimes our boyfriend's parents, they get divorced, you know, and it's important to remember it's not your fault. So I gotta go. But they go to our church. What will people say? 
<laughs> How long uh, do these embraces usually last? Because I gotta go. But I, are you gonna be okay? Yes, I'm gonna be okay. Mrs. Griffith is amazing, and she's gonna help Micah, and everything's gonna be okay. Yay! See? All right, that's the spirit. Everything's gonna be okay. Okay. <laughs> so nice to me. I did it. I got through to you. <laughs> I'm so sorry about everything I said. I'm so, so sorry. I mean, I really want us to be friends. Can we please be friends? Absolutely. Yay! Yay! For a day, we were actually really good friends. And I was kind of starting to think things were going to turn around. She texted me in first period. By second period, we apparently had private jokes. Tragedy struck in Woodshop. And it wasn't because someone sawed off a thumb, which has happened, by the way. Micah is in the hospital. He is in so much pain. The nurse didn't know what was wrong. Oh, oh they're there. Oh. It hurts so bad, mommy. Well, it's just what I thought. Chlamydia. Who have you been screwing? Tell me! Tell me now! Or I will kill you right here! All of, all of Pendergast! All of, all of Pendergast. I have to call you back. Okay, bye bye. God damn it! I said I got it from Olive Pendergast. I know, but what was I supposed to say? You know, and then my mom tells Marianne's mom. I did. I tried. To, I tried to blame it on their divorce, but my mom is not buying it. That's it. I, I have to tell them. No, I do not care that you gave me chlamydia. I don't. I love you, and I want to be with you, and nobody can stop us. Not my mother, not Mary Ann, not even the school board or the president of the Americas. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. What? What do you want? What do you want? Just go. Oh, oh perfect. Just perfect. Uh, I'm sorry. I just, I was looking for Mary Ann. Did she say anything about being mad at me? Because she just smacked the bejesus out of me. No, that's my fault. I'm so sorry, Olive. I'm sorry, but I, I, I messed up, okay? I just goddamn shit. Goddamn messed up. Really goddamn shit bad. Goddamn shit goddamn. Okay, don't get me wrong. Because I, I love it. But I just, I don't think you're supposed to use that kind of language in front of a student. Yeah, you know what else you're not supposed to do is sleep with them. But that didn't stop me. Goddamn shit. Wait. Oh my god. Oh, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not judging you or anything. But oh my god. I. Wait, what does that have to do with me? Because you know you should know that my marriage is not great. Okay, we haven't slept together in like in months. In months. All right. So finally, this great-looking guy comes in and he's nice to me. You know. And he's not a minor. This is legal. It's legal because he's he's been here forever. Okay? He's like, he's not the sharpest Christian in the Bible, all right? And then he finds out that he had chlamydia. And so then he's telling everybody that it was you. So he has to say, because he didn't want me to lose my job, and he doesn't want to get in trouble either. So he said it's you. I'm sorry. But I'll, I'm going to fix it, Olive. Okay, I'll tell everyone. I'm going to tell everyone that it's me. Okay, I'll just, I'll lose my job. And 
you know, whatever else I lose, and then that's okay. Maybe it was becoming a habit of mine to help the downtrodden, or maybe I just couldn't stand to see my favorite teacher's marriage crumble. Either way, I decided to help. I could have chlamydia. I mean, I could have easily given it to Micah. I mean, who knows? Women oftentimes don't show symptoms, and the whole world knows I've been whoring around. No, you haven't. No, you haven't, because a real whore can't admit it to herself, much less others. Trust me. Call Micah. Tell him he is an ass and he owes me so big for this, but also tell him I confess to giving him chlamydia. <laughs> I don't know a lot of hugs today. I guess I shouldn't be too shocked that these people wanted my diseased ass out of there. The funny thing is, the whole time this all was going down, I couldn't help but think how I could have come up with better signs. Although, you gotta love the Quiznos guy. That's the one thing that trumps religion. Capitalism. Why are you doing this? I'm trying to make the school a better place. Can we just start a petition to get rid of all the lead paint? New honey mustard chicken at Quiznos. Not now, Quiznos. You're a slut. You're going down, Olive. Bree, if this is because I'm more popular than you, then I really think that what Let's you're doing... Let's not mistake popularity for infamy. You don't want do you? I'll be praying for you. You okay? I'm awesome. I'm awesome. Screw all these people, Olive. Haven't you heard? <laughs> I already did. So they got Rhiannon. Never underestimate the power of extremists like Marianne. They sense any weakness, they pounce like jungle cats. And the whack pack just gets bigger and bigger. But at least they have a pack. I was used to being by myself, but I had never felt more alone. So I thought I should at least look into what they were running around thumping about. Hi, um, do you have a religion section? It's right over there. Can I help you with something? The Bible. Oh, that's in bestsellers, right next to Twilight. I didn't have time to read the whole thing, because it's like 600 pages, single-spaced. And as every war that's ever been fought can tell you, there are many ways you can interpret it. Except the Civil War. That was pure racism. So I went to find an expert. But really, I just kind of wanted someone to talk to. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I think that's how you're supposed to start these things. I'm really just going off of what I've seen in movies. Where do I even start? Um, I've been pretending to be... What is the Catholic way of phrasing this? A harlot? Harlot. It's not that I've actually been doing the things that people have been saying I've been doing, but then again, I'm not denying them either. So I was just wondering, is that wrong? Just that a lot of people have been asking me to do things, and I thought it was okay because it wasn't real, you know? It was make believe. No one was getting hurt, but... A lot of people hate me now. I kinda hate me too. I might be wrong, but um... Aren't you supposed to say something? Tell me to say ten Hail Marys, pay a fine, you can't choke into nearest railroad. Hello? Should have seen that one coming. Luckily, I live in a town with many different places of worship. So I went to find one with a real live human being. Can I help you? Yeah, uh, I was just wondering if there's a minister around. Is it not a minister? A reverend? A wizard. It's a pastor, and he's here. How can I help you today? Um, I was just wondering what your church's stance on lying and adultery was. 
It's not a good thing. Oh, I agree wholeheartedly. But then, now tell me this. Assuming there is a hell... Oh, the, the Christian church recognizes the existence of hell. Okay, so we'll just say there's a hell. There is. Just so we're clear. Okay, so for argument's sake... No, there's no argument. It's there. Right below our feet. Right above the Orient. It's there. Then what would be worse? Lying or adultery? Or is lying about adultery just like double whammy? Sorry. Come on. Huh? Huh? I'm sorry, young lady. What did you say your name was? I didn't. I... You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go check out Judaism. Cause this, oh, sorry. Two frames, really? Jews and I ah, have a lot in common. Just fashion wise and stuff. Off you go. Yes. I had unwittingly sought advice from the father of the leader of my lynch mob. What other complete and total idiot could say that's happened to them? Okay, I've narrowed it down to the other Bolin girl or the bucket list. Huge hit. Why can't we watch a movie for kids? You always get to pick. Because the family member of the week gets to pick the movie. Hey, but you get family member of the week every week. And there's a reason for that. Yeah, you pick family member of the week. Are you accusing me of nepotism? Okay, it's the bucket list. This is it. This is the greatest decision. I'm so happy with this decision. That's what it's going to be. All right, now, honey, after we watch the bucket list, remember to cross watch the bucket list off our bucket list. Guys, I just want you to know that if you hear around town that I have chlamydia, that is totally false. Olive, do we need to have the talk again? No, it's just a thing that's going around. You know, nothing you're saying is making me feel any better. Not to mention how you've been dressing the last few days. No judgment, but you kind of look like a stripper. Mom! A high-end stripper. For governors or athletes, but stripper nonetheless. Yes. Oh my god, I'm just trying to mix it up a little. And I have no STDs, I promise you. That's great. Daughter of the year. I'm saying, if you hear anything to the contrary, just come up with some funny retort and walk away. Honey, you're kind of starting to worry us a little. Should we be kind of worried a little? I don't think so. Sure? Yeah. Yeah, I got it all under control. Okay? Okay. Then let's bucket list this bitch. The bucket list! The bucket list! To say this whole thing had taken over my life would be a colossal understatement. I actually reread the Scarlet Letter to see how Hester dealt with it, and it turns out she bore her punishment in humble silence, which are two concepts I am not comfortable with. You know, with all the mythical play I was getting, I still actually hadn't been asked out on a real date. People were jumping up and down to say they'd slept with me, but no one bothered really trying to sleep with me. I'm starting to think I actually did have a gnome down there. Until finally... Hey, Olive. Hey, Anshim. What's up? I was wondering uh, if you were busy tonight. Maybe want to go out or something? Uh, what did you have in mind? I was thinking about getting a hot air balloon. You know, bringing along some champagne and then uh, possibly reading some Sylvia Plath. <laughs> Uh, or we could just go to the Lobster Shack because it's, you know, a little easier. I love the Lobster Shack. Good. <laughs> okay. It's a date then. Okay. Okay. Um, so should I still bring the Sylvia Plath or...? No, you know, we just stick our heads in the oven if we run out of things to talk about. Huh. Cool. All right. Cool. <laughs> You look really beautiful. Thank you. Wow. Uh, you're a real gentleman. Nah, just a guy having dinner with a girl. <laughs> Do you believe uh, this whole thing about lobster being an aphrodisiac? I did not know it was. Medical science really has not substantiated claims that any particular food increases sexual desire or performance, but guys just spend and spend to ply women with food they think is going to get them lucky, which is funny because it's like, what is sexy about slurping back oysters? <laughs> Nothing. Mm. Okay, did you know that some people actually eat grind-up rhinoceros horn? 
because it's thought to increase the size of the male sex organ. That's not true at all. Spanish fly. Oh. Spanish fly. You've heard of this? Yes? Yes. Okay, that thing, pulverized blister beetle. What? You know? And it's legal in the U.S. because if you eat just a little bit too much, it causes painful urination, fever, and bloody discharge. Oh. Am I talking too much? No, no, no. You're just burning through a lot of topics really fast. Shouldn't have had <laughs> coffee three weeks ago. I'm oh, just kidding. You are Maine lobster with crab and seafood stuffing. Oh, yum. Yum. I'm jealous. Thank you. Mmm. Let's begin, right? Uh, happy, happy birthday party. Yes. yes. Hope your happy, happy birthday's been the best. Oh, Woodchuck Todd worked here. here. Oh, this piece of cake is free. Have a happy, happy, happy birthday. birthday. You're the best. You're the best. A hip, hip. Happy, hip, hip, He's dressed like a lobster. You should start calling him Lobster Town. <laughs> I said, hip, hip, happy, 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 like what? Like, I hate Marianne Bryant, too. If that's our magical connection, I should just date the entire school. Haven't you? No. No, I haven't. Happy birthday to you. The Lobster Show! Okay, she can't see us. Check, check, check. Can you just, can, excuse me? Hi. Yum. I just remembered I am so allergic to shellfish. Oh, and I always forget that my respiratory system will collapse and I'll die. I have a gift certificate. Keep the tip. Hey, thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I've got something for you. Two hundred dollars to the Home Depot. <laughs> Bam. I didn't realize this was a... I know it sounds kind of lame, but they really do have some awesome stuff. I bought my air compressor there. So what do we do on this date? Whatever 200 bucks gets me. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. It's not really how it works. <laughs> it's okay. Mm -mm -mm. Stop! Uh, I'm not really having sex with people for money. I'm saying I'm having sex with people for money, but I'm not having sex with people it's for okay. money. It's okay. Come on. Stop! What? No, what? no! What? Stop! Come on, just relax. Come on. Oh. Asshole! What are you doing? I paid you. Now you didn't. Come on, this is bullshit. God damn it. Hey, Olive. Todd, huh? Are you alright? I just, uh, I just have something in my eye. Like a twig, you know, or a branch, or a contact, or something. I, don't I didn't know you wore contacts. Oh, I don't, which is why I was here now. Olive, hey, let me drive you home. <laughs> do, you, do you want to talk about it? Thinks I'm a whore. And for the first time, I'm starting to believe it. What? Don't act like you don't know what people are saying about me. Uh, no, I know what people are saying. Doesn't mean I believe them. Who told you? No one. No one had to tell me. But once upon a time, there was a scared little kid at a party in a, in a dark room who was not ready for his first kiss. And you know, this uh, amazing girl who lied for him. I can't believe I remember that. <laughs> you know, sometimes I pretend you were my first real kiss. Yeah. Yeah. Who was? It was Rhiannon. What? Well, she must have told you. Yeah, it was, uh, I think it was like a, a year after that or something. It sucked, by the way. It was, it was like, I don't know. Bitch. 
Oh my God, she knew how I felt about you. Well, how do you feel about it? Oh, me? and here I am, feeling so bad, bad, that's just perfect. Wait, 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 hold on a second. How, uh, how do you feel about me? Felt. I said felt. I thought I, thought I heard feel. No, it's felt. Right. How do you know where I lived? We used to carpool. Yeah, in second grade. What are you, like a savant for people's addresses? Just for people who I think are cool. You think I'm cool? I do, and I th think you're pretty. And smart. Well, did you form a spinning prior to my little transformation? Way prior. Wow. Why did that rumor spread? I like to keep my business to myself. Notoriety, for whatever reason, never seems to benefit the noted. It's only the no teeth. Ugh. Where were you a few weeks ago? <laughs> Olive. If I promise not to tell anyone, can I kiss you right now? No. Okay, okay. So oh, no, no, no. I just mean, I just mean, not like this. I don't want to kiss you with mascara running down my face. You know, and some horn dog guy just having tried to stick his tongue down my throat. I just, I've wanted to kiss you since eighth grade. But I wanted to be perfect. And right now, my life is a mess. I need to get my business in order before I drag you into it. What if I told you I want to be dragged into it? I could help, maybe. Why now? Why are you all of a sudden into me now? I don't know. I haven't overanalyzed it like you're about to. <sighs> Good night, Olive. Good night, Lobster Todd. Now that I knew there were actually decent and good-hearted people out there, the lies had to stop. And I knew there was only one person I could count on to set the story straight. Brandon. I'd helped him, and even though it would destroy his new reputation as a straight stud, I knew he'd help me. Oh my god! Did you hear that Brandon ran away from home? Yeah, totally. He left his parents a note that said, I'm gay bitches, and then he skipped out with some big hulking black guy. Ah! My apologies to Mark Twain. Wait, huh? What? He said something. You said something. We were talking, so you said something, so I came back. You're funny. Call me. Okay. I went to everyone I'd helped and begged them to say it wasn't true. No way. I gave you money. You gave me a gift card to AutoZone. I don't even have a car. I thought it'd be aspirational. Evan, please do this for me, all right? I did that for you. Do this for me. I don't want people to know that I didn't go to second base with you. Do you know how many girls I've hooked up with because of that? Wow, girls are almost as dumb as boys. Oh, yes, they are. It gets worse. Honor your father and your mother. Due to his condition, Micah was sent on an extended visit to his grandparents in Palatka, Florida. And if there's one thing worse than chlamydia, it's Florida. Guilty of adultery? Get your hands out of your prairies, boy. All of life is full of choices. I made a bad one, but then so did you. But I see no other alternative than to just live with the guilt. My guilt stems from my indiscretion and yours for lying. We made our choices. And we just have to let it ride. Or I could just tell everyone the truth and get you fired and put in jail. Okay. First of all, he is of age, okay? It's perfectly legal in the state of California. I checked. He is 21 in eight months. And secondly, let's play the who would you believe game, okay? Why don't you ask yourself, if you were an adult, who would you believe, huh? Who would you believe? Who would you believe? Who would you believe? Who? Thank you for coming in. Yeah, Mrs. Griffith was pure evil, but I still shouldn't have done what I did. Your wife has chlamydia, and she's sleeping with a student, and she gave it to him, and she's trying to blame me. 
What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mr. Griffith, if you ever see this, just know that I was, I was wrong to tell you that in that way at all. I shouldn't have done it. And I don't even feel bad for lying for your wife, but I, I hate myself for telling you the truth. I am so sorry. With my words, even though they were true, I ended a marriage. Looking back, that's the thing I regret the most. So now everyone that knows the truth is either gone or they won't fess up. And Marion Bryant and her disciples are demanding my head. And the messed up thing is I would not put it past Principal Gibbons to expel me. I had a similar situation when I was your age. What? Everyone called you a slut. I had a horrible reputation, and people said awful things about me. Why? Because I was a slut. I slept with a whole bunch of people, a slew, a heap, a peck, mostly guys. Mom! I, sorry, I got around. <gasps> Before I met Dad, I had incredibly low self-worth. Do me a I... favor and just stuff this down my throat until I asphyxiate to death. Listen, die. It's true. I die. It's true. Oh. It's true. I, and I was quite the contortionist. I could oh do this God. thing. I could go. I mean, my life all Stop. Day. Can you stop? Don't <laughs> show me. Can you not see that I'm a mess? No, you're not, Alan. You're wonderful. And you'll handle this the same way I did, with an incontrovertible sense of humor. But you're much smarter than I am. So you'll come out of this much better than I did. Thank you. Mm. I could get my legs so No, bad. no, 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 stop it. So it was time to put an end to all this once and for all by telling my side of the story. And that's why I decided to do this webcast. So here we go. <clears throat> Part 5. Not with a fizzle, but with a bang. Today, we had yet another one of our ridiculous pep rallies. Todd convinced the band to play the sexiest song in their repertoire. I needed to pique everyone's interest enough to get them to go home and log on. I had one outfit left, and I figured about 30 seconds to do it. Plus, I really wanted my own awesome musical number, for no apparent reason. www.freeolive.com tonight at 6 p.m. And I know it interferes with the basketball game, but come on, would you rather be here cheering on the woodchucks or watch me do one? What do you think you're doing, young lady? Get to my office right now. You know, I can't, I can't, because I have a date with the guy I like and the rest of the school, but I think that before you expel me, you might want to talk to Mrs. Griffith, because I think she might talk you into letting me stay. Go for it, Here you all are. 
waiting outside the bedroom door for me to kiss Todd. Listening to me pretend to have sex with Brandon. Paying me to lie for you and calling me every name in the book. Hey, you know what? It was just like Hester in The Scarlet Letter. Except that's the one thing the movies don't tell you. How shitty it feels to be an outcast. Warranted or not. <laughs> How did you know I love this song? I guessed. I see you've been watching my live webcast. Still going on, you know. Screw them. They've had enough of you. Figuratively speaking. I, uh, I, I borrowed my neighbor's mower. I came right over. That almost rhymed. I know. I spent a minute on it. <laughs> I'll be right down. <laughs> That's Todd. Not that I owe you guys any more confessions, but um, I really like this guy. And uh, I might even lose my virginity to him. I don't know when it'll happen, you know, maybe five minutes from now, or tonight, or six months from now, or maybe on our wedding night, but the really amazing thing is, it is nobody's goddamn business. Come on, where's she going? I thought she was going to take her clothes off. Demi Moore took her clothes off. This is bullshit. Jim, I'll take my turn at steering now. No, that's all right, Hook. I like steering. Now.